All right, viewers, how's it going? Today, let's take a look at this 2006 Volvo V70 2.4D Sport. And this is going to be a full tour of the V70. We'll start it up, show the engine, and show you around the interior and exterior. And before I begin, I'd like to give a huge thanks to the D-Side Motor Centre, located in Connors Quay, North Wales, for allowing me to come out and film this car. For more information regarding current inventory and contact info, please check out their link in the description below. It's a dark blue exterior, also known as Magic Blue. With black leather and cloth interior. That's just over 75,000 miles on the clock. Leather steering wheel. With grip extensions. Perforation inserts. And silver accenting. Six speed manual transmission. Let's go ahead and turn on the headlamps, front and rear fog lamps. And the hazards. Automatic front windows. And let's go and check out the exterior. I've always loved this generation of V70. Puts me in mind of my mum's old 2003 XC70 that we had for a while. 17 inch wheels. The V70 first came along in 1996. And back then, it was a restyled version of the old 850 estate. That version ran from 1996 to 2000 and then the second generation came along and that lasted from 2000 to 2006 and then the third generation came along in 2007 and that lasted up until 2016 when it was replaced by the V90 there were cross-country versions of the first generation model available back then they were called the V70 XC all-wheel drive and then they changed the name in 2003 to XC70 to go alongside the XC90 
still looks relatively modern, even today. Rear parking sensors. I think that spoiler is a bit overkill. Has a 2.4 litre, five cylinder diesel engine. Puts out 160 brake horsepower. Does not to 60 in 9.2 seconds. And has a top speed of 130 miles an hour. As always, I'll provide the full specs in the description below. Power locks, power windows, and power mirrors. Manual seats with side airbags. Dual zone automatic climate control. Fan speed. Individual temperatures. Different zones. A montage automatic. Front defrost. Rear defrost. Recycling. Also automatic. AC on and off. And your heated seats. Different preset stations. Panels for 
Windsor Castle. Our royal correspondent, Johnny Diamond, has more. Morning, Amanda Thomas has emailed the essential classics of bbc.co.uk to us. Is Classic FM from Global. Thank you, Dom, and welcome all to Wednesday. Decent sounding audio system. FMAM, CD player, sound settings, and menu, traffic announcements, and so on. Very basic unit. Pretty simple to use. Deactivation of your interior alarm. Parking sensors. And power outlet. I've only ever seen this type of gear lever on a Honda Civic. I think Volvo call it space ball. Does look pretty good for a gear lever. Can't have too many cup holders. Auto dimming rear view mirror. My mum's 2003 XC70 had a sunroof. Audio controls and cruise control. It's amazing how a third of a tank can give you 285 miles. Not bad at all. Such a well thought out interior design with all the controls angled slightly towards you and all the buttons are big and chunky so they're easy to operate. Absolutely amazing vehicle. Also my mum's XC70 had a slightly different steering wheel. Instead of having the buttons here they were positioned like that. So you had the cruise control there hands-free phone there, and then audio controls like that, if you know what I mean. Anyway, do miss these old Volvos. Let's go ahead and shut her down.
space in the back is just about okay. I just about fit. And you do sit quite high up, so I've got about that much headroom. Yeah, not ideal if you're a six footer like me. One other feature that my mum's XC70 had was a fold-out picnic table. So basically you had a little strap here and you pulled the middle seat up and you had like a table that folded out and two little pop-out cup holders. That was one of the coolest features about it. It may have limited rear seat space, but it still has a massive boot, or trunk as they say in America. I'll make sure that's properly fastened when I put the car away.
you forget just how comfy these old Volvo seats are. You can do millions of miles in them. Well viewers, a massive thanks to the D-Side Motor Centre for allowing me to film this 2006 Volvo V70. Thanks so much for watching, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and peace out.